Two days ago, we had an earthquake swarm in southwest Wyoming in a place that we didn't expect. And uh, besides the Yellowstone quake swarms, of course, and the ones north of that in Montana, but what happened is that uh, there was also a sulfur dioxide release. And Ben Ferriulo, who's kind enough uh, to be following this, I believe he's totally in love with the uh, Yellowstone uh, supervolcano. He does a wonderful job analyzing the events there every couple of days. And this is a video that he will be um, posting onto his website concerning this February 22nd quake swarm that took place in southwest Wyoming. That's just, uh, for example, an tangent southwest of Yellowstone. We've seen more earthquakes today, another earthquake swarm just south of that, in a very strange line parallel to the earthquake swarm in southwest Wyoming. And you'll see that in one of the previous videos I posted just today. So this video that Ben has uh, prepared for us shows the obvious increase in sulfur dioxide emissions at the time the swarm was reaching its peak. And here he shows us the map and you'll notice a very faint line in a circle that is, it looks like the rims of a caldera in that area. He's showing us the coordinates here to remember them because that's where he will then link us onto another site that has the monitoring of the sulfur dioxide and we'll see that that is the exact location and here he's outlining the rim of the caldera that you can see very clearly from the google map isn't that something and he says co2 is coming from that region co2 being uh, sulfur dioxide and uh, this uh, video shows the increase in sulfur dioxide emissions that at that time that the swarm was reaching its peak and here he shows us, uh, starts showing us the details of this crazy swarm. The time, February 22nd, around noon, he's starting at noon. He's setting it seven and a half hours before the swarm starts. Sulfur dioxide emissions. And you'll see that um, the pinker it gets towards purple, the more uh, intense the sulfur dioxide is. And you'll see it there where that green circle is. There it is. It goes at three hour intervals, as you can see. And uh, now he goes at February, we're at February 24th now. At noon, you can see there, the end of the time period that he's showing. Right, yeah. And he'll just uh, go through it again. So the thing is, uh, how did this happen? He says, uh, notice that there was an obvious increase in the sulfur dioxide at surface level, just as the swarm was peaking and calming. This is no coincidence, because it happened at the same time. Of course, CO2 does release in this area from time to time, he says, but this is the first time that it actually coincided with an earthquake swarm in this area and why did this strong and peculiar event occur that's another question and uh, we see it also spreading down as we said before towards uh, aligned towards the pisca crater uh, why is that or why is that happening it is happening So I'll let you enjoy the video, and we thank Ben for this. He has a wonderful site with a lot of information in there for those who are interested. I'm going to give you the link to, uh, to that right below in the description box. Thank you.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.